here in the city, Jewish New Yorkers are coming together to support each other and help Israel. CBS 2's Ali Bauman has that story. Handwritten notes top boxes of band-aids that are being packed up and shipped out to Israel. The people here feel their pain. They feel their beating heart. It's literally apparent by the unbelievable outpouring of love from everybody in this room. The Chabad Young Professionals of the Upper West Side put out the call Thursday afternoon and within six hours already received hundreds of donations. Everything from first aid for IDF soldiers to toys and clothes for their families. So if there's one silver lining, it really shows the strength and solidarity of, of the Jewish people. All these boxes are going straight to the airport and the Chabad says they plan to do another drive as soon as next week. Hours earlier in Borough Park, thousands of Jewish New Yorkers filled the streets for a vigil. It's certainly inspiring. Uh, we, of course, we pray for those who've been taken captive, hostages. NYPD Inspector Richie Taylor watched over the peaceful prayers. It was a very, very meaningful night for so many people here in Borough Park. From the police department, uh, made sure everyone was safe, provided. Uh, counterterrorism measures. In Clinton Hill, students and families gather to light candles and stand strong for their brothers and sisters in the war. This is not 1933. We are not silent. We are not going to be complicit. We are not going to let the world turn its head away from what's happening. Lara Krinsky says she has felt helpless in New York. Every single one of us here knows someone who's been called up to battle. Every single one of us knows someone on the front lines. Many of us are friends with people who are in Hamas's hands right now. But the rabbi tells his congregation there is strength in their resolve. And we believe that through doing good, we're actually having an effect, a direct effect for the good in Israel. Those who cannot fight are finding ways to join the fight. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.